What's going on, Clash Crashers? Rocky here today, and we're here on the low Town Hall 9 account. As we see, the heroes are both upgrading the queen going to 14, king going to 13, and we need to get ready to get these heroes going again. If we want to get stronger as a Town Hall 9, we got to get our heroes up, guys. So what we're going to do today is we're going to explore some Dark Elixir farming methods without heroes. As we see, both heroes are obviously down upgrading so we're not going to have heroes so we're going to use three different armies today and see what's going to be most effective for grabbing some dark elixir we're sitting in the crystal leagues about 2300 crystal one so really close up there to masters league we're only at 18,000 dark elixir so we got a lot of work to do and we're just going to see what's going to work today what i did was i grabbed the three armies that i think are going to work the best for no hero dark elixir farming guys at the bottom here we have dark elixir lunian if we check this out it is going to take our troops are going to take about 24 almost 25 minutes our spells are going to take 27 minutes and it's going to cost us about 279,000 elixir and 370 dark elixir uh, i did throw a skelly spell in there instead of a haste that way in case we need to dive on like the dark elixir storage in the center of a base we can throw that skelly spell in there we're going to test it out see how it works if it doesn't work well we'll switch back to a haste there so we're going to use the lunian right there we're going to check out one of my personal favorites the Jai Wiz Dark Elixir comp. This one has jump spells, but we're also gonna try a quad quake version. The jump spell version takes about 24 minutes, 13 seconds, and then spells 27 minutes. Costs about 279.9 thousand elixir and only 110 dark elixir because of the poison spell. When we do switch to the quad quake version, it is gonna cost a little bit more dark elixir, and we'll explore that when we get to it. But this is one of my personal favorites, my go-to for Dark Elixir farming. And finally, we have Goblin Knife. We're going to try this version of Goblin Knife here, about 219.5 thousand Elixir, only 110 Dark Elixir, and that's only going to be in the Poison spell if we need it. 24 minutes on the train time, about 27 minutes on the spell time. So really, all these armies take about the same amount of time to train up. It's not like one is you know faster than the other. But let's see which one's going to be most effective. We're going to start out today with the lunian version we're gonna do this we're gonna do each raid probably two maybe even three times see what we can find again we're in crystal one leagues we're gonna go out try to find some raids hit these live and see what you guys think of these uh cops here and see which one's gonna work best to get this dark elixir all right guys before we go out my qualifications for what's gonna be effective is if we can get all the dark elixir from the base i'm gonna consider that really effective so that's gonna be our goal to grab all the dark elixir we're gonna be looking for 3,000 dark elixir raids 3,000 dark elixir in available for looting so that's what we're gonna be looking for so hopefully we can find it and before we get going today you guys make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not leave a like on the video if we can get to 50 likes on this we'll do some more dark elixir farming videos in the future let me know what kind of dark elixir farming you guys need help with and i will definitely cover it so we're gonna go out i'm gonna go find a base and i'll be right back with you guys here soon all right guys we found our first base and this is actually gonna be a really good candidate for lunian here dark elixir centralized expos down queen pretty accessible we got that sweeper right there and the drills are full on the outside here so we're gonna make a push into this base we got loons in the clan castle so we are good there so let's go ahead and just put in our balloons put in our max loons over here we will go ahead and drop that haste that we got from our clan castle minions in behind i should have saved a couple minions but that's fine uh let's see get that going in there and we are good we're looking good we're gonna push into the base uh, we're going to go ahead and drop the heel over this big cluster of balloons right there. Looking pretty good so far, guys. Queen hasn't fell yet. Uh, we're going to save the Skelly spell. If we can save Dark Elixir, obviously we're going to want to save that Dark Elixir. Uh, looks like the rest of the Dark Elixir is only going to be in the Town Hall here. And we're going to be able to get through it. So, kind of an easier base with the bows down. But it worked out well i didn't even realize we have the four wall breakers still in this comp we don't need the four wall breakers the four wall breakers are in this comp to get the heroes into the base but we don't need it we're actually going to three star this really easy base here get tons of dark elixir so on this one we found a really nice find and it's going to help us get the three star get all the dark elixir get all the loot so definitely super effective there uh the lunian just overpowered this base just ran right through it we're definitely getting the three star here so very plausible on that one uh it didn't take me too long to find that base 3400 dark elixir plus our 320 from the bonus so about 3760 there not too bad guys not too bad so lunian definitely going to be plausible definitely going to work out we got an achievement so that's good so we're going to go out with one more lunian raid i'm going to actually take out these wall breakers 
didn't even think about not needing wall breakers. We're going to drop one minion, add in a couple extra balloons so we're not adding in dark elixir costs. So we're going to go out one more time with Lunian once it trains up and just make sure it's really plausible. Obviously, that was a pretty easy base, especially with bows down. But let's go out again with the Lunian and see how it works out, guys. All right, guys, we found this base. 3,100 dark elixir available. Drills on the outside, storage in the center. So pretty straightforward as far as what we got to do in this raid. Uh, well, let's get our balloons going in. Get it working, guys. Uh, we know what we got to do. Let's see. Let's go ahead and haste in there. This one's going to be a little bit of a tougher base. The bows are up. So it's going to be a little bit tougher. Uh, we see the queen there just firing. I'm going to go ahead and throw that heal in kind of early to work our way into the center of the base there. Uh, hopefully we can get our balloons to these expos. Uh, might work out all right. I'm going to go ahead and drop the skelly spell in there on the dark elixir storage. Hopefully they get towards there. We see skelly's working towards the dark elixir. we got a few minions there. Uh, so we're going to get all the dark elixir there. We're not going to get the town hall, it looks like. Uh, so we're going to miss out on the little bit in the town hall. Uh, we got to make sure we don't fail the raid, that's for sure. Uh, we are close to failing this raid, so we're going to go ahead and just drop some minions around the base. We definitely don't want to be failing. We want to go ahead at least get our 50% so that we're getting our league bonus. So there we go, we get our 50%. That way we're getting our league bonus. We didn't get quite all the Dark Elixir. We didn't get the push to the Town Hall, but we did get most of the Dark Elixir here. So Lunian is going to be able to push into the center of the bases. That was a pretty tough base as far as Expos up. Uh, we had heroes in there. The only thing, no clan castable. I mean, we did a really good job on it. Got most of the Dark Elixir. We netted just about 3k there, so not too bad, guys. All right, so next up, what we're going to do is we're going to train up our Giants of Wizards comp. We're going to try it with a jump spell, and then we're going to try it with my favorite, a Quad Quake. The Quad Quake is going to be a little bit more Dark Elixir heavy, but it is going to be very effective. We did see that the Lunian is very, very plausible for no hero Dark Elixir farming. Definitely recommend it. The comp right there is at the bottom. 32 balloons, 26 minions. You don't need the wall breakers in there. I'm using three heals and one, or three rages and one heal, rather. Three rages to save on Dark Elixir. Instead of using two extra haste, we're using the, the extra rage. And then the skelly spell is obviously optional. I think we would have gotten to that Dark Elixir storage, anyways. But I think I like having the skelly spell in there, guys. So let me get the giants and wizards trained out, go out, find a raid, and show you guys how this one's going to work out. All right, guys. This base is a Town Hall 10 with single infernos, kind of higher defenses. This could go absolutely bad, but I think with this comp, I'm really confident with it. I think we'll be good. The only issue is with no heroes, man. That could be sketchy. What do we got in the clan castle? We got Giant and P.E.K.K.A. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to put the P.E.K.K.A. in over here to go ahead and fight that queen. Uh, that's going to be good there. Let's go ahead and wall break in. All right, so we got the queen down. P.E.K.K.A.'s going in the base. Uh, we want to try to get as much of the Dark Elixir as possible. Get in there. Let's see. We're going to jump into the center, obviously. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and heal Rage right there. I'm going to save our last heal spell there. Uh, let's see. This is going okay. We definitely got to get into the center of the base. Let's see. Uh, not going fantastic. Not going awful. All right. Giants getting into the core. All right. There we go. We're getting Dark Elixir there. We're going to throw in the rest of our giants over here. No need for the poison, really. I guess I could have poisoned the king to slow him down. We'll throw in our barge troops. So we're not going to get like a full push into this base, but we're going to be all right. We're going to be in a really good situation here. We're going to get most of the Dark Elixir, not all of it. I forgot that Town Hall 10s do have three drills, so we're not going to get that far drill. But we're going to be in a really good situation here. Uh, we are going to not get the 50%, though, it looks like. Uh, so that's unfortunate, but we are going to be good. We're not going to get our bonus, but we're going to get tons of Dark Elixir. So we made the push into the center. We didn't really get into the center with our Giants, but very plausible to, you know, make that happen on this base. Uh, I was, I did took me a little bit to find this base. We will uh, try to find a Town Hall 9 with the next one. But I think even if we had a Quad Quake, we would have been in a better situation. Uh, let's see. I don't know if she's going to be able to get the rest of the percentage points we need. Let's see, that'll put 45. She might... Oh, nope. Dragon coming out. Dragon coming out. Okay. I'm going to dump this uh, Clan Castle Poison. Oh, just kidding. Not dump the Clan Castle Poison. So even though we failed, we didn't get the one star, we did get 3,800 Dark Elixir. So if there's tons of Dark Elixir available, you can hit those Town Hall 10s, guys. Very nice there. Very nice. All right, guys. We got our Giants and Wizards trained up again. And this time, we're going to go out with a Quad Quake. 
to open up the center compartment to be able to push into the center compartment so we're going to give this one go if we take a look it does cost 420 dark elixir and this one is going to use the 420 dark elixir every time because we're going to be using our earthquake spell so let me go out find something solid and i'll be right back with you here. all right guys we found this base with 3200 available it looks like most of it's in the drills there might be a little bit in the storage here but not a ton but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and quad quake open all these compartments right here should be able to get them all with the quad quake open that up real nice oh okay we missed the one on the the left side there but that's fine let's see if we can get into this base we'll get some giants some whizzies going in for the initial funnel here now uh, get some wall breakers in no really you know huge need to wait on those did we have a wall breaker fail of course we did why wouldn't we have a wall breaker fail one nice thing about having pekka in the clan castle is it will help on those wall breaks uh, okay, so we're just really going to get the rest of our guys going in here. Uh, throw down our heal. Once these guys get going in, we're going to go ahead and rage. Get them all going in. Okay, nice. That'll work out really well. All right, so we got to get into the base pretty well here. Uh, we got to watch our giant's health for sure. So we got giants pounding on that wall that we didn't wall break or open, which is going to be good. I kind of missed the, uh, the, 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 heal there but doing okay got to the center of the base i should have healed earlier gonna miss this dark elixir over here it looks like but we're gonna be all right we got the town hall so we're definitely gonna get the one star there uh we bring the barge troops so if we need to barge you know extra buildings out like so you know just put in a couple troops there we are gonna miss a thousand dark elixir though so the miss on the quad quake being just a little bit off on the quad quake cost me uh unfortunately that's that's gonna suck because that's a thousand dark elixir so giants of whizzies my personal favorite failing me here letting me down honestly like normally i get all that dark elixir but as you see here we left some dark elixir quite a bit of dark elixir on the table here guys uh really sad story so giants of whizzies very very plausible in my opinion i've had tons of experience with it so i know it works uh but in that case we did have a little bit of a fail i guess that's uh showing how things could go wrong but we still did get 2200 about 1800 net after we factor in our dark elixir cost so next up we're gonna go ahead and use some goblin knife goblin knife is not my strongest suit guys i'm not sure how these are gonna go i'm gonna try my hardest for the goblin knife i'm gonna use one with jump one with quad quake just to see how it goes and we'll get at it guys all right guys dead base but even though it is dead we still got tons of dark elixir in the core for the goblin knife um, I'm going to throw in one giant here, just a few goblins. We got to get a nice, good funnel in here. Uh, what do I have in my clan castle? I got giants in here, uh, just really requesting any ground. We want a nice funnel for the goblins. We also want to make sure we get the uh, dark elixir over here. So we're going to go ahead and throw these guys in right there. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and throw in our giants our whizzies wall breaker in that should work out well let's see we're getting the dark elixir over there so we want to make sure we're getting all the dark elixir uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump in here uh, we're gonna go ahead and poison that queen and we are gonna get the goblins going in here uh, rage oh no what happened to my rages oh no. what the heck okay so I had a fail on the rages here guys obviously the rages were supposed to go where the goblins are going uh we have a fail on the rages and we are still going to get most of the dark elixir holy crap what happened there on my rages i do not know how that just happened my my heal dropped properly but my rages did not so we had a fail there on the rage drop but we still get into that core and get a lot of that dark elixir i mean a lot of it was on the exterior but wow i cannot believe that we didn't get the town hall though so this is going to be a fail uh but that was all my fault we should have got the rest of that dark elixir one rage in there gets us the rest of the dark elixir so that is a hundred percent my fault on that one holy crap guys let's try that again all right guys on this base we're going to try it with the goblin knife we are going to funnel in try to get it going uh let's see here i'm going to try from this side here i'm just going to throw in a couple of those guys we want to get these outside collectors and storages taken care of. That way we have a nice funnel into the base. 
Um, realistically, I think we need to get a good push in here to get other stuff. I don't know if I have enough funneling troops. See, I'm not the best with Goblin Knife, guys. I'm really not. So that's a huge issue. That's a starting issue for sure. Now let's go ahead and throw that in there. Um, okay, so things are working. Let's go ahead and poison the king just to slow him down. Things are working for sure. My concern is the goblins are going to go all over the place, and I'm going to be screwed. Uh, okay, I missed the poison there. That's awesome. All right, so let's go. Let's uh, let's try this here. I'm I'm not sure. I don't think this is going to work well at all, guys. I really don't. All right, we're going to get all the goblins going in. Uh, get them all right in there. See, this is my concern. They're going to go around. Oh, they're definitely going around. All right, we got a few goblins in the center. All right, we got some going in. All right, there we go. We're not going to get the town hall. We did get the dark elixir. So I'm not the best with goblin knife, but that did work out pretty well. I think with more practice, learning how to funnel in, maybe even more funnel troops, you'll be good with goblin knife, but... I am not the best at it. We still did get 2200 there. We're going to try one more Goblin Knife with Quad Quake, and then we will wrap up today's video, guys. All right, guys. So the Dark Elixir is a little bit spread out on this base on the left and right side, but there's not too much in the drills. One of the benefits of Goblin Knife is you're supposed to be able to push while you're using it. So you're supposed to be able to get the Town Hall. So we're going to go in right at the Town Hall here. We're going to go ahead and Quad Quake in there. We'll go wide on the Giants. Get that nice, nice funnel in there. Get some more giants going in. I got wizards in the clan castle this time, uh, so that'll work out nice. Uh, let's see, Tesla pops up. That's fine. Ooh, we got a weird, we got weird wall breaks. Uh, that's not good. Weird wall breaks are never good. Uh, okay, so actually, we don't even need the goblins to get the town hall. That's fantastic. Uh, I am scared what's going to happen here. This is going to be all bad. Guys, I do not know how to use Goblin Knife well. <laughs> this is going to be bad, but we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a go. All right, let's get all these guys going in here. All right, we'll heal right there. Uh, rage right there. We are not going to get where we need to go, I don't think. Let's see, where are they going? They're going for the Dark Elixir. Okay, that's good. Uh, are they going to get it, though? I don't think we're going to get it. Oh, we got hog riders coming. Oh, so many ground attacking troops. We did get that drill on the left, but not. Oh, I don't know, man. I am not good with goblin knife. Apparently, that I felt like we had a straight line at the town hall, or at the the dark elixir. We had the wall breaker fail up here. I think I need more wall breakers. But man, let me know what I'm doing wrong with dark, with goblin knife, guys, uh, because that is not the way it's supposed to work at all. I'm gonna call it a day there. Honestly, I'm not gonna just keep uh, keep at it, especially with the quad quick version. We did do pretty good. I mean, we got about 18,000 dark elixir. For me, in my opinion, Lunian the most plausible for sure. We had tons of success with the Lunian. Uh, Giants and Wizards really good, and Goblin Knife with practice. So I don't know, guys. I don't know. Use this how you think you should. Uh, obviously, it's a, a guide with no heroes. I think Lunian's the way to go, honestly. In my opinion, Lunian's going to be the way to go, guys, on this one. Use Lunian when your heroes are down. Get tons of Dark Elixir. Get tons of loot. Hopefully today's video helped you guys uh, out a little bit with no hero farming. And hopefully you guys are better at Goblin Knife than I am. Holy crap. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Come back for more great content. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Fashion.